Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at cleaning rifle brass with the RCBS Ultrasonic Cleaner. Now in the last video, we used the RCBS Weapons Cleaning Solution to clean some dyes, and that worked good. In this video, we're going to use the Ultrasonic Case Cleaning Solution, which actually uses the, uh, the same ratio from 14 to 1 highly concentrated down to 40 to 1 uh, diluted down to max dilution. So I've still got the machine full of fluid. We're going to start by draining the machine, then we'll mix up some solution and start cleaning some brass. All right, so as you can see here, I've got the two liter bottle in a very low tech manner uh, positioned below the, uh, the ultrasonic cleaner. And all we need to do to initiate the draining is to grab the draining knob and actuate it. So what that's going to do is drain our ultrasonic cleaner without making a huge mess, which I love the idea of because as I stated in the previous video, whenever I would clean out my, my other ultrasonic cleaner, it would make a big mess because you basically had to dump it out. So it looks like we're done draining. Okay, so the next step is going to be to remove the basket and I'm basically going to just dry everything down here. If I was going from case cleaning solution back to the weapons solution, I, I might be a little bit more deliberate here because that's got a different uh, chemical composition that, as I understand it, is a little bit more harsh on parts. We definitely don't want to uh, mix up the uses of these fluids because they are application specific. Case cleaning solution for brass and weapons cleaning solution for metal parts that aren't brass. Okay, so we've got uh, the tub and the basket kind of wiped down. I'm gonna call that good for this solution changeover job. Throw away rags, good. Okay, now we're gonna mix up the case cleaning solution. So I've got this uh, two liters of water here that I'm gonna start with. I'm going to uh, pour that in. I just double checked. I've got my drain shut. That would be very unpleasant if we just had a bunch of solution dribble across the bench. I would not be happy. Okay, so we've got two liters. And again, I think this time I'm going to go for about the, uh, the 30 to 1 ratio. Got this cap we need to remove here. the factory seal. Okay, so we've got one ounce there. We're gonna add a total of two ounces, plus a little, I think, in this case. Okay, so we're gonna squeeze this. It's gonna fill us up again. Okay, and add just a little bit extra. Why not? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and agitate that uh, when I add the cases. All right, and these are the cases that we're going to be cleaning today. This is military 762 by 51, the military version of 308 Winchester. So I've sized and deprimed these cases. I've uh, reamed the primer pockets. I've trimmed the case necks uh, to length and deburred them and chamfered them. So these cases are grimy, they're dirty, and as you can see, they're not super clean. You know, they've got residue inside, they've got kind of some black carbon buildup around the necks. I would like to see these turn out sparkling clean, and I'm hoping that's what we'll see. The next step is to turn the machine on. I'm going to set my time for 30 minutes, might as well give it uh, sort of the full time. And the temperature, I'm going to go up to 131 this time, turn on the heater. So it's going to take a little while to warm up. We'll see solid red uh, when we're ready to put the cases in. Okay, so we're up to temperature now. I'm going to add some cases. Start with uh, this amount here and we'll see where we're at. Since this is the first time I'm cleaning uh, brass in this unit, I think I'm gonna start with that. 
Now all we have to do is hit the on off button, which will initiate the cleaning process. All right, looks like we're done. So these have been cleaning for a half an hour. Let's see how things turned out. Well, you can obviously see some, some soot in the water there. Ooh, look at that. Nice. They're nice and steamy. I'm gonna shake off some of the water here. Looky, looky. I got a little bit more water pouring out here. Still getting used to the process here because, you know, I've been a, a dry tumbler here. This is my first time cleaning cases in the, in the ultrasonic. Okay, so look at that. We got uh, that looks really nice, I would say. So what am I going to do from here? I think uh, I'm going to dry these off by, uh, oh, look at the primer pocket on that. Do you see that? Get it nice and close there. <laughs> it looks really amazing. This is awesome. Uh, anyways, back to the drying process. I think what I'm going to do is uh, put these out in the sun on a towel, something like that. You know, really simple. Well, so far so good with the brass cleaning in the ultrasonic cleaner. It uh, it got this rifle brass uh, really clean. It's probably more practical for a rifle brass where you want a lot of precision in your cleaning. It does help to deprime first because that's gonna to help to get the, uh, the soot and the carbon buildup out of the primer pocket area. And that's not as practical for handgun brass. But if you do want to clean handgun brass in an ultrasonic cleaner, there's certainly no reason that you shouldn't. As usual, the full story is on ultimatereloader.com. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks all for watching and we'll catch you next time.